Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. As you can see, I'm playing Phoenix Point. So, a bit of background. Quite a long time ago, and I'm talking back PlayStation 1 days, I played a wonderful game called XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, it was a very pixelated game, um, and it was a very difficult game, but it was absolutely amazing. And me and my friends had a wonderful time taking it in turns playing the game. And by taking it in turns, we controlled a character each. Um, or two characters, depending on how many of us there were at the time. And it's turn-based. And as I say, it was extremely difficult. Now... The one really nice thing about the game was it was persistent. So if one of your characters died, that character was dead permanently and you had to get a replacement. Now, I can't remember who made the original game, but those games were remade by a company called Firaxis and they remade XCOM Enemy Unknown and they made a second follow-on called XCOM 2. Now, some of the developers of the XCOM series left that company and have since created Phoenix Point. So this is a very, very similar game to the original XCOM game. Um, it's turn-based, it's tactical, and it's brand new. So I'm going to jump in and see exactly what this is all about. So I'm going to play on standard. Um, I'm not going to go legend or hero because first off I'm not a hero. And secondly, I'm definitely not a legend as far as this is concerned. So I have all of the DLC activated because I did buy the Behemoth Edition which came with all of the DLC included. Um, so I will start the game. And we will see exactly what is said in the intro and the cinematic. We listened to the number stations every day. I took turns with Jacob, waiting for our signal. And finally, it came. A scarab got it too, its AI directing it to our rendezvous point. We had no news from Symes for many months. Did he send the activation codes? I was desperate to know what happened to him. The mutants were on the march again. Something was happening. If the mist was back, then it meant that the Pandora virus was mutating again. Twisting the human form into new horrors. We needed to regroup, rebuild. But first, we had to get to that scarab. Okay, so, um, yeah, you kind of saw a little bit of the overview there. When I did first turn the game on, it did come up with a almost like newsreel about what had happened in the world. And basically, as it said a second ago, a Pandora virus um, has been, well, I'd, I'm going to say released, but that's probably not the right term, but appeared within the world and mutated thousands of humans, hundreds of thousands of humans, and crabs into crustacean-like humans. Very, very similar to some of the aliens from the original XCOM, um, if I must be honest, like the chrysalids. So um, I'm expecting very, very similar kind of uh, situation here. Uh, the only difference between this and the original XCOM, of course, are graphics, because the original was 2D, um, whereas this is very much a 3D game. So let's just see how the gameplay pans out. So let's try the camera. Okay, so I, in this type of game, like normal controls. I don't like inverted controls in this type of game. So movement. Move character to the highlighted location. Well, that's sprinting. I don't want to sprint, but never mind. Okay. Oh, no. I've just alerted an enemy. Okay, that's not good. So I need to get that person to move the selection marker onto the soldier and press X. Select your soldier. 
Let's move to attack. Yeah, but if I move there, I can't attack because that's outside. My... Tiles based inside the blue area allow soldiers to move and shoot in the same turn. A blue shooting line will be drawn from the selected tile if the enemy can be shot from it. Move to the highlighted tile and press X. But that's outside his movement. Oh, okay. Second one. Right, your movement is interrupted if you spot an enemy. This doesn't end your turn. Select L2 to fire a weapon. Oh, that's quite nice. So, shoot at target enemy or target point. So, two points. Let's shoot. Yeah, you got him. Okay, so you end your turn by pressing the trackpad. That's not good. She's going to get annihilated. Ooh, okay. Oh, it hurt her leg. She's obviously got a uh, problem with her leg. Looking at the image just above her body. So let's have a look. She can see that one. So let's go to shoot. Free aim. Ooh, excellent. Oh, I like that. So that's the pincer. That's the head. Will that kill it? Yeah, that killed it. Awesome. Right, now that you know the basics of movement and shooting, it's time to finish the mission. Be on the lookout for more hostiles. Okay. It's, the scarab. it's seen better days, but it will have to do. Jump inside. Yeah, we'll do when we kill the enemies in there. Right, let's get you first, because you can move. You can move a bit further, can't you? Let's get you moving. Ooh, where have you spotted an enemy? Ready to engage. Let's try shooting him. Didn't quite work. She shot, so I'm going to end turn. Oh, no. Too many of them. Spotted enemies, all allies and spotted enemies will appear as icons above the action bar. When you have it activated shooting, bashing or healing, you can select a character icon with L1 and R1. Okay, so you're behind cover. You're not. Die. Stand by. Is that Overwatch? Yeah, I'm going to do an Overwatch. I'm going to move him to that point there. Didn't work, did it? There's no overwatch. This is not good. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, no. Ooh. Need a better position. 
Yeah, I know you do, but unfortunately you can't get one because we don't really have the time. Hope I can find cover. There you go. It's cover for you. What more do you want? That's you run there. She's not very healthy. She's definitely not very healthy. That was very brave, actually. There we go. Done. She's injured. Not good, not good. Okay. Well, it definitely is like XCOM. It's um it's definitely got that tactical edge. It feels good, but we'll have to see what happens when we get back to the base screen because uh, in XCOM, the originals, the base build was After some of the best bit. Traveling. The howling noises stopped, and then so did the scarab. I did a quick survey around our position while Jacob talked to the AI. There was an abandoned government reclamation station nearby. These places are usually good for scavenging supplies and equipment, but they often attracted desperate gangs. The AI gave us the reason for our stop. An emergency rescue signal from another Phoenix operative. We had a location too, right in the middle of that station. The Scarab made it clear that we should attempt a rescue before continuing with our journey. Despite no sign of the mutants, our comrade was clearly under threat. The Scarab's missile launcher would prove very useful. We've got visual on the building. The Phoenix operatives should be close by. There are hostiles up ahead, so stay vigilant. Okay, so it looks like she's no longer injured. That's probably just because it's the tutorial. Four action points to use for movement shooting and other actions each turn. These actions can be performed in any order. Okay, so. Let's get you... Hmm, let's have a look. Scout the area. Okay, so there's a lot of... Right. So, ideally... I want you there. Reporting enemy contact. Okay. Ah, there's Overwatch. Okay, so she's on Overwatch. I'm going to move him to there. And I'm going to put him on Overwatch as well. Scarab is heavily armored vehicle that can transport your soldiers equipped with powerful missile launcher. Select missiles from the action bar to learn about it. Okay. Select a target point for the Scarab missile blast. Press X to launch. Okay.
That worked. Not really sure that was the right thing to do, though. Okay. Let's overwatch her again. Can look right in front of her because I want to get this guy out on the wings. I like the fact you got a vehicle right from the start. That makes a big difference for me. I'm going in. Here I am. Let's do this. Well, so far I'm quite. All operatives must survive. Oh, okay. Don't give. Don't make it too hard for me. Jesus. Don't want anyone coming up behind us. Feels like there's a lot of movement. Ally located. Oh, okay. So there's the ally. Um, in which case, let's get her that way. And then we can overwatch over there. And then we can get him there. And I'm going to get him overwatching behind us. Then I'll get truck coming in bandits tactical tip they cover firearms shooting lines Lines drawn from the selected tile indicate. Oh, okay. Blue lines indicate the operative has enough AP. Yellow lines indicate the soldier has line of sight but not enough AP. Oh, okay. I ain't got a chance in hell of hitting that. Rolling out. Eyes peeled. Why did she just make that noise? Here I am. Let's do this. It's going to miss. Ooh, it hit. 
Awesome. Nice. Right, so let's. I've got line of sight. Ooh, let's go free aim. Let's go for it. I'll be right there. Let's overwatch it. So that is obviously if you want to specifically target one person, like this guy here. So, let's confirm that. And then, um, why not? Let's see if this guy can take out this bandit. Seems a bit unfair, but I guess you're not going to have this for all missions. Awesome. Scarab's doing well. Are right, you getting to cover there? You check over here. You go in here. Omar Heavy Class, Soldier Proficient in Heavy Weapons and Armor, can deal massive damage from short range, withstand attacks. Okay. So we now have Omar. What do we need to do? Kill, kill all the enemies. Right, okay. Um, well, let's overwatch this direction with him. And we'll just end the turn that turn. No weapon. Crate at the top of the nearby tower might can... What? Where is this nearby tower? Right, there's the nearby tower. Okay. Good day. Okay. Where's the enemy spotted? Oh, I got you. Nothing's getting past me. Nothing's getting past me. Missiles can't move that far. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that.
recovered. Can we now get them with the, a rocket, is the question. Nope. Okay, so, um, got armor, fair enough. So I took less damage because of my armor. See, I would have thought that somebody would have been shot by now. Ooh, they're going up to the second level. Need to get him in cover. Finger on the trigger. Really? Oh. Really? Shot him in the head and he didn't die. Really not good. Right, um taking aim. a bit closer and hopefully that will allow me to shoot some of these guys that'll work oh that got him Jet jump. Oh, what? Should have paid attention. Well, that's one down. Didn't take the other one out there. That's quite annoying. Got you.
Oh, okay. That's kind of annoying. I should have paid more attention to that. Okay, so that is a... Wait your turn. Reposition in. Right, let's end turn there. Nice. Nice. Omar, is it? Glad you found some gear, as you're gonna need it. Now you're part of my squad. Excellent. Well, he didn't find any gear because I didn't even get up there. Because I was an idiot and didn't read my skills. Okay, so looks like Sophia Brown is a squad leader, without a doubt. Skill points pool. Derb resumed its course towards our base, struggling through the rough terrain. Strange growths were contorting the road, smashing against its armor. It wasn't long before it took one too many hits. The engine gave a loud crack, and the AI went dark. We had lost a valuable member of the team. We no. knew we were close to our destination, but we didn't know what we would find there. If we were to advance on foot, we had to exercise extreme caution. Approaching the base, we heard gunshots. Jacob and Omar took positions by my side. What was going on inside? A bandit ambush, or something much worse? Following Phoenix Protocol, we readied our weapons. It is time to reclaim our home. Head lightly. There are hostiles up ahead. Let's get rid of them and clean up this mess. Excellent. Rotate camera so you can see things around corners, which kind of does make sense. Right, so guys, that's uh, kind of my first look. We've kind of got a, a, a feel of it. Um, I must admit, first impressions wise, it really is good. Um, I will do another video as soon as I've got my base up and running so that we can see exactly how it does work, um, you know, uh, as a base system because you used to have to ex excavate and then put certain things in certain places, uh, build up your ships and fighter aircraft and things like that. So everything will be quite good um, to see. I will, as I say, post another video on it, but um, as I was about to say, my first impressions are I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's not a full price game. It was, I think, £35 for the Behemoth Edition, which included all of the DLC. So definitely cheap. Um, it's only available on PlayStation 4 for a hard copy, but as soon as you've got the hard copy, it automatically upgrades to PS5 version, or you can automatically upgrade, I should say, to the PS5 version um, if you have one, which is what I have done so far. And um, yeah, it really does play well. The only thing I would say is sometimes it's quite hard to target what you want to target. 
um, it seems to travel further but that might just be my control setup uh, as in sensitivity um, and it does seem that I am getting a bit more used to it as well it does seem to sort of jump between things at some points now um, what it doesn't tell you is the bar underneath the um, movement icon is how many of your action points it takes to get there so you can see that at that point it's taken almost two of my action points so i'll only have enough for either a shoot or an overwatch that one's taken one of my action points so i will be able to go overwatch and also do a bash for instance so you can actually see um, it does give you kind of three different stages uh, one action point use, two action point use, three action point use, and then all action points use. Um, so it is quite nice in that regard. Um, it does look quite pretty. Um, I haven't found any way of zooming in yet, but um, maybe uh, maybe that's my fault. And I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to finish the video there, guys. Thanks for watching. Well guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. Share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to support me more, please follow the link to the Patreon page, it's displayed on screen. And I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You'll take care, bye for now.